Okay, morning. Welcome back to the shop. <clears throat> yeah, with uh, your uh, question about the uh, strength of the uh, Elmer's uh, uh, glue, polyurethane glue, adhering to metal got me thinking. So, uh, before I went to bed last night, I uh, just took a piece of the same aluminum uh, uh, piece that I'm using as a spar, the rear spar on the wing, and uh, just glued it onto a piece of 8 inch balsa here. And uh, we're going to see uh, how strong it is uh, and how well it adheres. So um, I guess the best thing to do is just see uh, what it takes to, to rip it apart. Um, it's supposed to cure 24 hours, but I, I set it up last night um, about midnight. And it's uh, maybe about 10 o'clock in the morning. So that's eight hours to cure. We'll see. It seems like to me it's pretty cured. So we're going to see if we can rip this. Oh no! Apart. Ah, I guess that uh, <laughs> either I'm a weakling, or oh my yeah! Wow. There ain't no way that glue joint is gonna fail before something else ah, fails. I can't. You no, know, I'll just I'll just bust the balsa. Yeah. Um, away from here. I'm not going to... Oh, there, finally. Well, as you can see, of course, once again, the glue is a lot stronger than the wood. So you get the right thing. But if you're using this um, on that shear web, where all the pressure is trying to do this to it, uh, that's not going to come apart. So I'm more than confident that gives us enough strength. And uh, I thank you for your question. It was an interesting little experiment. And uh, we'll see you again. Bye.